reviews, unboxings, tech and forward news, all here at Oi Walker. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, this is the um, Samsung Galaxy S TouchWiz UI 3.0 running on a HTC Desire. Um, so I will manage to get it ported over, ported over to the HTC Desire. I'm just going to take a look at it now. Um, okay, first of all, you have the, um, you can have up to seven home screens here. As you can see, scrolling through them is very fast. There doesn't seem to be any lag. You can also add home screens as well. So if you go to edit here, you could choose to add home screens. You could add up to seven home screens, and you could delete any home screens that you want. So if you don't use a lot of home screens, you don't have to. You could just have three if you like. Uh, you still have um, live wallpapers on here. You can see that they're working fine. Um, so I have more wallpapers as well. So you got these uh, nice wallpapers as well that you can have on here. And with the wallpapers um, running on the phone, it still doesn't seem to slow it down. It still seems to be running fine. And uh, the the live wallpapers, this one in particular, seems to show really nice and brings out the um, quality of the screen. Next, when I take a look at, I'm just going to show you what version of Android it is running. It is running Android 2.2, so you get all the good features that are in Android 2.2, and you won't miss out on anything. Next we're just going to take a look at the design of the menu. As you can see, it's similar to the iPhone. You just scroll across and you have three pages. As you add applications on, it will add more pages to the menus. And you also have um, you could save any four widget I mean applications at the bottom. That could be your most used applications. So if you want to edit it, you go into menu and edit. You could hold this, move um, them around to anywhere you want. You can move the one at the bottom and you can replace it in with the web browser. And you can also delete applications from here as well. And everything seems to be running fine. You could customize, like I said, you could customize these at the bottom. You could move the position around for these applications as well. Next, we're going to talk about the. I'm going to look at some applications, it's like the messaging application. It is similar to standard Android um, applications, messaging applications. You could either use the HTC keyboards or the standard um, stock Android keyboard as well. You can add the swipe keyboard if you know where to find it, you can add it. Okay, next we're going to take a look at um, some applications in here. Kalinda, that's still the same, standard, nothing has changed about it. I uh, want to take a quick look at the camera. Camera still captures 5 megapixel. You can still zoom in. Let's get something to zoom in on. We've got a mouse. You can zoom in on the mouse, zoom out. You could add flash on. And you could just, just move to video. You could also set the resolution as well. And surprisingly enough, this does record in 720p HD. So you get a pretty good quality uh, video of this as well, which is always a plus. Uh, we're going to take a look at the marketplace, it still hasn't changed same um, standard Android marketplace before the good apps 
Now we're just going to take a look at applications to SD. You can get this on this ROM. You can move um, any applications, say for example Flash. You can move it back to the phone by pressing that. It moves it back to the phone, you press it again and it moves it back to the SD card. And you can do that for pretty much any application. Uh, another feature we're going to look at is Wi Fi tethering. So, to access this, you go into wireless and network settings. And you see tethering on um, portable hotspot. You click on that. You could enable um, USB tethering, that's when you connect it to the computer. Or portable Wi Fi hotspot, you just click on it here. It turns it on. It's just powering up the Wi Fi. Okay, it's on now. You click, you can click on it and configure all the settings, the name, the security you want. And you still get all of the good features from from 2.2. Next we're just gonna take a look at some benchmarks. See what kind of results we get. Okay, and I have done a test some benchmarking test with Neocore I got 28.5 frames per second which is pretty decent uh, for a LAN pack let's just do a quick test twenty five see it varies all the time thirty four but I usually get around 39 so we're getting up to 35 but you get the idea of how fast it is um, another application I wanted to show you uh, is these gears you can see down here it's getting 61 frames per second if you zoom in still um, getting around 60 to 61 frames per second everything seems to be running fine and I might do a separate video showing benchmarking on the official Android 2.2 if you want to see that video uh, leave a comment below let me know you want to see it Okay, next we're going to take a look at the web browser. We're going to see if we could try to get some flash content loaded up. I'm just going to head over to one of my YouTube videos and see how that loads up. Starts loading up very quickly. Um, there doesn't appear to be any lag in there as well. You got that little black bar at the bottom as well. Uh, flash does load up pretty fine. Adverts take a while to come up. Adverts are loading up now. You do get the normal adverts in the video. The double tap. It zooms in. You still could pause your video. You could play it, and it just seems to run smoothly on on the phone or on any uh, phone. Uh, next, we're gonna take a look at. It's gonna try if we could load up a website. I'm gonna try load up Engadget. See how fast that takes to load up. Let's get everything loaded up. Let's just load up the full website. See, it loads up very fast. I 
the website's loaded up already as you can see it's just loading up all the flash contents like here and at the top takes a little bit extra time to load up those flash contents but um, it will load up and the flash is loaded up and it's finished see when you're scrolling it's very smooth everything seems to run fast there doesn't seem to be any lag let's try pinch to zoom it seems to be very responsive it could be a little bit better could be a slightly bit more responsive but it is responsive and that's about it um, if you like my video give it a thumbs up don't forget to follow me on Twitter www.twitter.com forward slash oilwalker and if you like my videos subscribe to my videos leave a comment below and that's it Thanks for watching.